Uh, folks, founded in 1901 in Grambling, Louisiana. Grambling State University is an historically black university with 5,000 students offering 800 courses and 47 degree programs in five colleges. Uh, of course, right now we are broadcasting live from the Eddie G. Robinson Museum, which of course celebrates uh, the legendary coach. And joining us right now is the museum director, Carolyn Collier, as well as university president, Rick Gallo. Folks, how you doing? Good morning. Good to have you here. Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, so how long has this uh, museum been open? This museum has been open since 1997. And we are working hard to keep it in wonderful condition. It is a landmark for a wonderful coach and for the university, also the state and the country. We have visitors from all over the country, and they enjoy coming to see what history is really like, what Eddie Robinson is really like. We are only, we are the second of only two museums that honor a coach. And we are very pleased to have that honor. Uh, and of course, uh, you've been tied with this community for quite some time. Forever. And uh, just basically a love of Grambling and wanting to see it thrive. And my plus years here. Uh, I've seen so much growth and of course with our new president we expect to grow even even more and we'd like to invite all of those out there come and visit the Eddie Robinson Museum. You'll be very pleased with the history that stands here at Gramlin State University. Now how you leave out you and Miss Gramlin? How you gonna leave that out? <laughs> what year was that? Do I have to say? Yes that? you do. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> know. <laughs> Miss Gramlin College, 1974. Look, my philosophy is very simple. If I'm breathing, I'm going to keep saying the years because they're all alternatives. Uh, President, uh, how you doing? Uh, Roland, we're doing great. And look, thank you so much for being here this morning. We're, we're just so incredibly honored, not only that you're here, but that our students are behind the scenes playing a part in production of, of your show. We just appreciate you being here so much again. How important is it in terms of this museum, but also building the Grambling brand, uh, not only across the country, but across the world? Well, you know, one thing about it, this museum leads all museums in the, in the Secretary of State's uh, museum system in the state of Louisiana. We get more visitors here than any other museum in the entire state of Louisiana. It's so incredibly important. And of course, we have so many kids to come in who see this statue who's right, right behind us, the uh, little workout rooms that you can't see off the set right now. And they get to, to walk back in history history and see uh, Eddie Robinson, all the many, the hundreds of, of players who he coached and uh, ended up in uh, not only the NFL, but you know, we've got four Hall of Famers in the uh, NFL Hall of Fame who were um, honored at the uh, recent Super Bowl. So uh, there's a lot to see uh, here at this museum. We're incredibly proud of it. We're, we're glad that Ms. Collier is now the uh, the director and uh, Joni Moss, who was the uh, director before her. Uh, they, it's a labor of love and they've done, done such a tremendous job uh, here. And Tom Shedler, our secretary. Secretary of State, we appreciate his continued support and funding to keep this uh, this museum alive. Well, very few HBCUs have the kind of branding that Grambling does, and so uh, how are you trying to use it to your advantage uh, when it comes to recruitment of students, faculty, and staff? Well, you know, that that's the great thing of being the beneficiary of such, uh, you know, great people like Eddie Robinson who, who did create the brand. Uh, Willis Reed, you know, one of the 50 greatest players uh, in NBA history who retired and lives in this community. Uh, there, there's some Doug Williams, you know, all of those those great icons uh, who walk this campus and, and really have made Grambling uh, the household name that we are. Uh, we're just so incredibly blessed to uh, to be the beneficiaries of such a great brand. Uh, Carolyn, last question for you. What are some of the artifacts uh, that are in this museum of Eddie Robinson? We have some wonderful things here. We have Doug Williams jersey. We have Buck Buchanan. I can go on and name so many things that we do have here. And also so uh, uh, the office, if you will, of Eddie Robinson? We have the office of Eddie Robinson, the one that he had, a, dupli a duplicate of the one he had at his home, as well as the one here on campus. We have a interactive type of activity here where you can throw the football uh, over the goal line, and we have a lot for everybody to see. All right, then. Well, we certainly uh, are glad to be here. Uh, it is a wonderful facility. I'm glad to have both of you on TV One. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here, Roland. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. A peaceful protest turned deadly. 37-year-old black man was shot and killed by Baton Rouge police. His hands are in the air. 
and you still get shot by the cops. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. We're not gonna let hate define us. Race is a big part of this. If truly all lives matter, then all lives need to matter equally. What we require is action. What we require is accountability. We understand that black lives do matter. And we will keep focused on this issue. News One Now, every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.